Okay, so lately it seems like the new trend on YouTube is these wish haul apps. Or the, the wish app hauls, rather. Um, it seems like it's just popped up out of nowhere. But I, I know that I've been ordering from Wish for about, let's say a little over three years now. So I just figure I might as well jump on this bandwagon too because I've been doing this for so long that, you know. So I have boxes and bags of all sorts. So there will be multiple videos when it comes to Wish Haul. So where should we start? Most of the stuff, if not all of it, is already opened just because the crinkling and the annoying, the annoyance of trying to open the bags on camera is too much for me. So I guess we can start with this one. So it's just a small little bag, a little bigger than my hands. Um, inside is the Studio Shine Waterproof Lit Luster by Fiora. Um, it's a, I think it was a, I don't think it was a, it was a liquid lipstick. That's what it is. It's like this. It's like this purpley pink color. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can show it to you on. This is fine. It's a very deep purple color. It's nice. Normally I wear like a really dark brown, almost black when I do wear my makeup. I really don't wear it too often anymore. Ever since I became a mom, I just have so many other things to be worrying about than to spend an hour and a half doing my makeup, so. But I figured it was a nice color and I'm pretty sure this was free with $2 shipping. I should have my phone up so I can bring up prices. I don't even know where my phone is, to be honest. Oh, I'm recording on the phone. That's where it is. Okay, so next is, this was a fail. This was a major, oop, I kicked my desk. This was a major fail. Um, so this year's new trend toy is those fingerling monkeys. Um, and they retail, I think Walmart has them for like $15. And you cannot touch these things for under $50. So I went on the app. I was just on there and they had a bunch of things trending. So I had clicked on it and they had one of these for, I think it was a dollar with two or three dollar shipping. It wasn't much at all. So I honestly wasn't expecting much, but in the options, list that they get it has like um the non-movable ones a bunch of colors and then it had the excuse me the uh, the electronic animatronic ones so i figured you know maybe i'd get some kind of cheap knockoff like one of those mcdonald's tours where you press a button and it just you know makes random noises over and over again even that would have been fine instead i get this it looks cute from a distance but it's the exorcist monkey. Um, but it's so cheap. Like it's cheaper than uh, from McDonald's toys. Honestly, it, it's that cheap. There are sharp points all over this. Like, I don't understand how you would, could give this to a kid. Um, you could see in the back here, let's see if I can get it at the right angle here. There's not much light here, but here you can see where they're supposed to, it was um, imprinted. Like a die was supposed to cut it so that you have the, the battery pack. Yeah, it's not really picking it up. But it, that, that's where it was supposed to be. Um, but like the hands move, the feet move. It fits on your finger. Like, I mean, I guess it, it's a finger monkey. It's just not the one that makes noise and stuff. I, I wanted it for my son for Christmas. He saw it, he wanted it. I just wasn't gonna pay $50 for a $15 toy. I wasn't doing it. So, but I contacted customer uh, support and I did actually get a refund on this one because that was just ridiculous. They advertised it as one thing and I got something completely different. So I did get a refund on that. And the refund was automatic. On the site, it says it could take up to 48 hours or so to hear from them 
Within like two or three hours, I got a response and a refund and it was all good. Okay, so there's those two. Um, since I have these sitting right here, I've got, I got a pack of, sorry, I don't like that noise, 20 makeup brushes. They're pink and black, or purple and black, sorry. And I mean, they're not bad as far as quality goes. I've used them once before. Um, they're definitely synthetic, but I, they do, they're not bad. I, I like them, but to be honest, I mean, the only other brushes I had were like an elf brush or an actual like makeup brush or paint brush that I had got from Michael's. Uh, because I can't justify spending 15, $20 on one makeup brush. I can't do it. But so they gave me a pack of 20 and like they're super soft, but they're not like so soft where you, they, they bend too much while you're trying to do your makeup. They're nice. I like them. So that was nice. These were, again, I believe these, I spent, try not to spend as much, that much money. I think these were also free or a dollar with like two or three dollar shipping, maybe. But, so there's that. Let's see. What is this one? This one I haven't opened. I know what it is, but I haven't opened it, so I'll open it here. It's not, you know, again, about the size of my hand. This one I may have spent a few more dollars for. Not much, but for work, um, I have two mp3 players. I sit at a desk all day and I don't deal with anybody for eight hours a day. So I have my mp3 players that I listen to my books on, music, the radio, you know. And right now I just have them sitting in the side pocket of my purse. And they're too, they're just too vulnerable to like the elements. Like little side story. I locked, I was leaving the house one day and I had another dog at the time who kept trying to get out behind me and she's a runner. She was a runner. So I had to try to keep her in the house and in doing so I forgot my keys on the key hook right by my front door. So I locked the door, I managed to close the door and I'm getting ready to go to my car and realized I don't have my keys. My keys are hanging on the key rack. And it just so happened to be a complete downpour outside. And even though I have a covered porch, it was raining so hard that it was raining underneath the porch, like raining into the porch. And I'm sitting there for 10 minutes trying to figure out how the hell I'm getting back in the house. I eventually did get back in the house. I had to actually break into my own house, but I got in the house nonetheless. Um, so now some of the buttons on it are a little wonky. So I decided that maybe it was a good idea to get a case to put them in just in case something like this happens again. So I got this. It's small. It came with this to hold its shape. It's small enough to hold both my MP3 players and my earphones. That's fine. That's all I need it for. Um, something for size comparison. Normal roll of tape. So, I mean, it's, it's not large. It's enough. It's small enough to fit into the side pouch where I keep my MP3 players right now. So it's not going to take up much more space and they're going to be a little bit more safe in here than they are loose in my bag. So that was another good one. This was... I don't even remember. I know I spent a little bit more for this because it was something that I really needed and I didn't see, I haven't seen anything this size, like this size in like Walmart or something that was decently priced. Um, but I think it might have been, again, like $2 shipping and like maybe I spent a dollar or two. I didn't spend much. I'm a very cheap person, hence the reason why I use Wish for a lot of stuff. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, four things. All right. Let's see, pull out the next one. Just a crinkly back bag. I hate these bags. Anything else in there? No, that's it. Okay, so this is a... Sorry about that, my camera cut out on me. I ran out of memory there for a minute. Um, it's just a normal net bag that goes in your tub, on your shower wall or whatever. My son has tub toys like most kids do 
and we just don't have room just leave them in the tub all the time and there's not really a lip on the edge of the tub or anywhere really in my bathroom to put it because my bathroom is relatively small so I thought maybe I would get a net to hang it up sorry I really don't like the crinkles um and suction cup it to the wall so it could hold all of his toys yeah and here you've got a little pouch and honestly I think this is yeah this will hold pretty well I think yeah so there was that this was this was free and then with a dollar or two shipping I like I said I don't spend much I try not to at least especially on things like that were really cheap that I could probably made it myself if I really wanted to but let's face it nobody really wants to make those kinds of things Okay, so let's see. What else do I have? What are these? I went to the P.O. Box today and I got some more stuff. Okay, so these are some more makeup brushes. They're the same um, purple and black as the other ones, wherever the hell they went. This is the other one. This was a 12 pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was supposed to be a 12 pack, but I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, because one of them is double-ended. Um, but I know the quality that these are, because like I said, they're the exact same as the other ones. So, this is nice. It gives me some more options, more brushes to use, so that's nice. Okay, um, it's this one. So I also saw the um, the new silicone blending, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but I, again, I'm not going to spend a ridiculous amount of money on uh, silicone blenders, foundation blenders. So I found this on Wish. It came with a pack of two. I think maybe it was $2 or $2 shipping. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's just the silicone, woo, well, I dropped that one. The silicone foundation applicators, is that what they're called? I don't even know at this point. This is the first time I've actually really touched one of them, and it's kind of weird to, to think that I'm going to use this for my foundation. Like, it's, I don't know, it feels, I don't know what it feels like, but, I don't know, maybe it'll work. Guess we'll see. Again, it was cheap, so it's not, if it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. I, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, got Mount Son of a Bitch down there when it comes to Wish stuff. This one looks like it had sprung a leak a little bit. Yeah, this one kind of sprung a leak. Well, there's that, I guess. So if, it'll, if this will go back in the bag, that would be great. So I can move on to the next thing. I did that one. Okay, those are done. Let's see what else do I have. Alright, I think I'll do one more and then I'll end this video. Okay, so I've been seeing these necklaces everywhere too. But again, they're pretty expensive wherever you go. So I found it on Wish. Let's see if we can get past the glare here. It just says mama bear and it's got obviously a mama bear and one little cub since I only have my son right now. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not the longest necklace. It's relatively short, but it could be because I have a larger neck, which is quite obvious. Um, I was hoping it would lay like here so it would lay under my cross. But it's about the same height. It lays about the same height as my cross does. So it's not something that I could wear every day. And since I wear my cross every day, it's kind of, I mean, it's, I don't know. Yeah, see, they lay right on top of each other. So the bands get a little crossed. But I mean, it's not horrible, I suppose. Put that one back there so we can just kind of see that. Yeah, I, I think because of the bar and how short it is, it just makes my neck look 
bigger than it is. So it's probably not something that I'm going to wear too often. But it's cute. I don't mind it too much, I guess. Um, and this was... I want to say it was like a dollar or two with two dollar shipping. Most things I found now, like when I first started shopping at Wish, it was like a dollar shipping. But now I'm seeing it's mainly like two dollars and up as far as shipping goes. I don't really see many one dollar shipping costs. Which, you know, I can understand a little bit. But I mean, for this, I, for how light it is, for it to be two dollars in shipping, it's a little expensive, but then again, it's coming all the way from what I do with the pack. Yeah, this one looks like it comes all the way from China. Where does it say? Xingdong Xing? Wherever that is. So, I mean... I guess because it, does, it's, it was a dollar. It says it here on the box. It was a dollar from the bag. So, it was a dollar with two dollar shipping. And it's point zero ten kilograms. I don't know. That's still a little expensive as far as shipping goes for something that light. But, regardless. So, that was my first wish haul. Um, if you'd like to see more, just comment below, like, let me know. Um, I'm probably going to do more wish hauls because I do, um, order from there so much. Like, I still have at least 15, 20 things coming in within the next month and a half. Um, plus my husband also shops Wish now, so that's a thing. But yeah, if you'd like to see more, just let me know and I'd be happy to do more hauls. Alright guys, bye!